Well, former BYU basketball star Yoli Childs has been vocal on social media when, and what it, on what it means to be a black man in America today, especially here in Utah. On his Instagram account, he invites all to start hearing the experiences of others with an open heart and open mind. On his Instagram post, he shared experiences of systemic racism that both he and his brother experienced growing up in Utah. He asked questions that evoke thought, and he is clear saying the message that black lives matter and that changes is necessary needs to be heard. He shared more with Mitch Harper today on Cougar Sports Saturday. It's been, you know, eye-opening on my end to see how many amazing people are here. You know, I already knew that, you know, there's amazing people here. I already knew, like, Cougar Nation, for example, is unbelievable, but, you know, they just they just deepened that love and that respect I have for them. Um, when I went to, to make that post, right before I hit share, I was sitting there with my wife, and we kind of looked at each other like, should we disable the comments, you know? Like, yeah. so it's like you said, social media gets pretty wild, and um, we were just kind of like, no, we're going to just be... Um, very vulnerable here and, you know, kind of trust the, the people in this community. And um, what the, the response has been was more than I could have ever imagined. And I'm just grateful for the amazing people that live here. We all understand in our individual families, a lot of times it can be almost harder on you when you see things happening to a loved one than it is when it happens to yourself. So that's definitely been the the one of the hardest things for me to deal with. I, I don't condone violence. I don't. Um, I don't think I don't condone any injustice of any kind and you know violence is one of those things um, I think that something we have to understand is um, people are really hurt people are very deeply hurt right now and it's not just because of George Floyd it's about the fact that it feels like this situation is brought up every couple of years and you know I think that it's important to realize that people express their frustrations and emotions in all kinds of ways. And I believe that as a country, people are so deeply frustrated right now that they don't know how to express themselves and they don't know what to do because it feels like no matter how you protest, it's viewed as the wrong way to protest. You sit on a, you sit on a bench and people say you're being disrespectful. You talk to someone in the military and they suggest that you take a knee because it's more respectful. It's seen as disrespectful. You protest, it's seen as disrespectful. So it seems like there's there's a point where people feel, you know, what can we do? No matter what we do, it seems like it's, it's disrespected. So that's my personal belief on where people are at. And I think it's important to understand that, you know, we've all been through our, our own life scenarios and we can think about our life and the way that we've had to grow and mature and learn to communicate our feelings and express our emotions. And we have to understand that when people feel so deeply hurt, they, they, they don't necessarily know the way to express that and, and know the way to make change. So I think we need to be, you know, Christ-like at this time and, and have empathy for people, not point fingers and not say, well, this is wrong, this is wrong, but we need to come together at this time and have empathy for one another.